What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Mode's Film Session. And today, we're going to be talking about Pat Firemove because he put on a performance against those Atlanta Falcons, man. And these are a couple of the plays that, man, just really stood out to me. Obviously, this is him just in a receiving element, but I don't want you to overlook his blocking as well. I mean, this dude really put together a nice performance here, man. So, uh, like we always do, that's Pat fire move aka pat shice the aka project pat aka Mooth. so let's do it how we do baby all righty all righty we'll play it in full speed and after that we're gonna break it down make sure you hit that like button as well as subscribe if you have not done so just yet third down pick up baby give me that Steelers first down you love it baby you love it so let's talk about it all right first off we obviously said with pat he was off ball alignment he's giving you a little yo-yo motion all we're trying to do with this motion is to see zone versus man and the simple way to read it is this when pat goes in motion right when he starts over here and works his way over here if anybody moves with him it's man more than likely if nobody moves with him it is zone more than likely. And the reason why is this, if it's man to man and your guy goes from this side of the field, okay, I'll draw it up for you. So yeah, if it's man to man and your guy starts on this hash and he goes all the way over here, if you don't follow him, what's gonna happen? No one's gonna cover him, he's gonna be wide open. So that's why you have to travel with him if it's man to man most of the time. Now, if it is zone, you don't have to go with him because what? That's not your area over here as a defender. This would be your area. So you would have somebody else over here naturally, so you wouldn't have to go with that, okay? Now, it could you can have one-offs just depending on the coverage and how advanced the defense may be, but the majority of the time, when you see motion, the quarterback number one is trying to identify man versus zone, and the big telltale indicator is if a guy goes with that guy, it's man. If he doesn't, it's zone. That's the majority of the time. Now, like I said, it can get a little tricky at the higher levels. So defensively, what did we see, man? Pat went in motion. Did anybody move with him? Let's do that again from the top. Did anybody move with the homie Pat Fry move? Nobody's moving. So you understand right now, you're thinking what? Zone, okay? Now, for the Falcons, they're running what we call fire zone three, okay? So fire zone three just means this. These guys are going... You got a blitzer right here. This guy is gonna be seam flat off of number two, okay? Off of number two, which in this case is Jalen Warren, right? That's number one, that's number two, the second eligible receiver. This safety is coming down the middle of the field. He's your middle three player, okay? So in this case, Pat Fry moves the three guy. This is your seam flat guy right here. I'll put SF. So he'll be off of Osheski. And then essentially when you're playing fire zone out here, it's like man to man. And this guy's your middle field safety. Okay. So that's your fire zone three defense. So with that being the case for Pat, as soon as this play starts, he, number one, he knew that it was zone because what? Nobody ran with him on the motion. Now, as he's coming off, he sees what? Man, this is pressure. He sees this guy that knows somebody's coming here. Okay. He also feels what? A lot of space, but he knows that this is the guy who's going to be responsible for him, but he's playing it top down because number one is third down, but also because of the fire zone technique. So with that, now Pat just turns this route into a leverage beater. Okay, you see color right here? Don't keep running to color along with the fact that you know it's a pressure. So don't try to run past it either because you know that what? They brought an extra defender. You saw him on the way out. So from here, Pat does what? He settles. And now starts to get quarterback friendly, works back away from the defender. So that way, uh, Kenny can throw it and have more margin for error without including this guy either. But working or so, me, I'll circle that. So you want to work away from the safety, who is this guy right here. But at the same time, you don't want to get too far because this guy's over here. But Pat does a nice job of subtly working away from his defender. Nice hands catch, as you can see, tight window combat. And it survives the ground. I mean, survives the ground and survives the contact as excuse me as well more importantly but this was really um impressive man in terms of just watching him go through his read 
the sense of, all right, this is blitz. All right, I know this is blitz. I see this the middle of the field is open. I'm that guy. I'm going to be the hot receiver right here. Where is this safety coming? Okay, it's not man. It's more of a zone constant. Let me work away from the leverage. Nice hand catch. I know I'm going to get a shot right here. Maintain possession. Get you a first down. This was beautiful to see right here from Pat Man. He did this a good amount of times, and I feel like he can do a lot more of this as well. We're just really scratching the surface with him and Kenny and this offense really starting to get more productive. All right, now on this play, we get a chance to see Move once again, man, just working away from leverage, picking up another first down to help keep this Steelers offense on schedule, man. And this is something that he continues to do and has been doing this season and why he's putting together a Pro Bowl caliber campaign right now man so if he can keep this thing going man it can get really exciting for him down the stretch but uh as we always do that's pat right there lined up in the core in the traditional y position i'll play this in full speed and after that we're gonna break it down mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you love to see it and i see you pickings too just in case y'all ain't know He's showing good love right there. Good energy, Pickens. Good energy. There it is. All righty. All righty. So, in this particular uh, play right here, man, it is uh, about third and four, third and five, I believe it is. And for the Falcons, man, they're playing a cover three defense. So, the way that is, is deep third, deep middle, deep third, hook, hook. Here's your curl flat. Curl flat defender down here, okay? The rest of these guys are in the rush, all right? So, <clears throat> as we start this thing out, man, for Pat, he's just running a simple out route, okay? Out route is here and here. But the thing that makes it interesting is this, man. It's a tight window because of, number one, the read. Kenny is working to the X, which is Deontay Johnson on the back side of the formation right here. But Deontay taking a little bit longer than Kenny likes. So Kenny is already moving on, right? As you can see, moved on, route wasn't there, all right, cool. Whether it was this, because right now, yeah, this is covered and you have the underneath defender, and I'm talking about right here, that's covered, and then you have the underneath guy right here, you don't like it, all right, cool. Then from there, you have a Jalen Warren sitting around the line of scrimmage, but obviously this is a third down, possession down. This dump off versus one, two, three defenders, the odds of him getting to the uh, the line to gain, which I believe is right here, it's not highly in terms of the probability of success. So I like what Kenny does right here in terms of working from him to get to my man, Pat, okay, who is right here. Now with Pat, he has to understand this. You have an inside defender right here, so he wants to work away from that, but he also knows it's a curl flat defender right there. So this is going to be congested over here. It could potentially be bang, bang, but once again, good job in terms of working away from the leverage, securing the catch, and taking the shot at the end of this thing, man. But like I said, for Pat, it was good to see the patience with this first off. <laughs> in terms of not being in a hurry to get out here, giving it time. Get on the defender's toes, make a move a little bit. And then from there, don't stop. Just keep working away, keep working away from that leverage. Good catch, get upfield, first down. And this is what you want to see, man. But like I said, man, for Pat... He can, he's capable of doing this in his sleep, essentially, man. Get on the LB's toes, work away from that. Combat catches tight windows. It's subtle, but it keeps the sticks moving. And that's the type of stuff that you need in terms of having, you know, a tight end that you can play through the way that we are at times, man. So once again, really good play. But you know I'm excited to talk about this last one, baby. Now we get to talk about my absolute favorite play from Pat Fryer Moose performance on Sunday versus the Atlanta Falcons. So without further ado, that is the man right there, bottom of the screen. Play this in full speed and after that we're gonna break it down. But yes, this was the play. Y'all know the play I'm talking about. There we go, get after it. Uh-oh, I'm gonna holler at you. Slide, huh, eh, eh, eh. There it is, there it is. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. All righty, all righty. So first off, man, we got obviously some motion from the man Gunner Oshesky, and he has a guy following him, right? So remember what we talked about, we said, man, the majority of the time when a person follows you up there is man, if they don't, it is zone. But we said there are some one-offs. 
this is one of them because right here for the falcons defensively they're actually playing tampa too but they wanted to give you the illusion of what man to man single high so this is all a part of the disguise so they have him middle of the field that's their safety aj terrell follows gunner Oshesky all the way over here from this side of the formation to this side of the formation so it gives the illusion that is man to man right single high safety so you're thinking you got this this you're gonna have that he's gonna be man here and these two lbs are gonna be on Najee. that's the illusion but that is not what this defense is. They are actually playing Tampa 2, and they just wanted to window dress this thing, man. All right, so as we play it a little bit further, you'll be able to see how they draw this thing up, okay? So once we start the playoff, that safety was middle of the field. Where is he going? Weak. All right, not weak, but he's going to the... Uh, the half fill on the back side of the format or actually the passing strength of the formation and now he's going to take the half fill to this side okay from here you got trey anderson shout out to him montana state he's going to be your vertical hook and now 54 is your middle runner okay aj terrell squat corner all right squat corner actually let me i should have drew that a little bit better no, hold on, hold on. oh squat corner is like that there we go like a lot huh 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 boom bang bang so that is what the defense is going to be right here so for pat it's going to be very similar to what he was just facing in the previous clip okay so once he does what he does is this or what he does is this he's starting off a vertical route but he's starting to read this thing man. he has a stop route and now he's reading off of leverage and what does he see right now man i have an inside defender who is working towards me so what do i need to do I need to work away from him, all right? But Pat also understands that, hey, it could be a defender out here because of the zone concept. He knows that this is zone, okay? So from there, starts to subtly work away. But this is bang, bang, bro. This is beautiful. Hands catch, turns away, because you always want to go to the sideline. You're always thinking, man, the cavalry comes from inside. Not a lot of people are going to be on the outside of the formation. So now as he turns up, he takes a shot from AJ. Hey, that's not a good look. You do not want to be laid up with your legs open like that, baby. Not a good look. But from there, makes one guy miss. Now he gets the next guy. Boom. Okay. He must have went to the Najee school of stiff arms. I see you. Get up off me. And now we get to see the man run. Now we get to see him out in space. Now, Gunner, I like the thought process, but baby, you don't got to block backwards, man. Just get out the way, all right? But excellent job right here in terms of the run after catch from Pat Fryer move, man. And just good across the board, man. Uh, sitting down, working away from the defender, uh, for the defender's leverage. Playing through the contact, making a defender miss. Showing off your athletic ability. Nice run after. And trust me, 44 right here, Trey Anderson. He's a fast linebacker. He actually clocked 4-4, if I remember correctly, uh, pro day and combine. So, yes, definitely a fast guy right here. So, you can see, man, Pat is definitely moving. But I love this right here, man, because it shows how complete he is. The smarts are working away from the leverage. Okay, that's the that's the first part of this thing that makes it just a good play for Pat. Okay, this part right here where you starting to settle down, working away from that leverage. I love that. That's the first part of it. Second part, let's make the catch. Hands catch. All right. Third part. Now you're gonna get hit. Bang bang. All right. Cool. We survived that. We maintain possession of the ball. Now let's be a playmaker because this is what separates the good from the great or the good from the elite. All right. The good player. You catch it, you're probably getting tackled right there by AJ. Or the good player, you make AJ miss, but you're getting tackled by this defender right here. But instead, because Pat does have elite characteristics and traits, this is what he's capable of. And it's just like I said, really good to see him be able to get out of that and then go off there and show off the speed in the open field to make a big time play in this game right here, man. But uh, like I, said, I was really impressed with Pat's performance. And what he's been doing at, um, throughout the rest of this season, or excuse me, throughout the season to this point that we're in right now, man, the productivity has been there. The consistency has been there. The only thing that has really hindered him has been the injury. Um, so hopefully for him, he can maintain his health and stuff like that. But I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing with Pat. And uh, you let me know your thoughts on how Pat performed on Sunday versus the Falcons. And also what you think he's capable of going forward down the stretch. But either way, you know I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.